Welcome to InfaMinutes. Our topic is torsion in shaft. Now let us first define what is shaft. The shaft is a structural member which is under rotation about its axis and transmits power from one point to another point. Example from an electric motor to a machine tool or a machine. So in this figure we see an electric motor which is driving any kind of machine or machine tool by means of this shaft which is under rotation. So the electric motor end of the shaft is called as driving end whereas the machine end which receives the power is called as driven end. Shafts can be solid or hollow circular section as shown in the figure. For solid shaft the diameter is driven and for hollow shaft its outer diameter is capital D and internal diameter is small d. When shafts transmit power it is subjected to a torque. Torque is denoted by T and its unit is Newton meter. So torque T is given as F into R Newton meter where F is your tangential force on the shaft in Newton as shown in the figure and R is the outer radius of shaft in meters and this formula is applicable for both solid as well as hollow shaft. For solid shaft the outer radius is the radius of the shaft itself whereas for hollow shaft the outer radius is the external radius. An important point to note is torque is equivalent to force acting on a rotating body or a member. So the linear motion of a body is attributed to force whereas the rotary motion of a body can be attributed to torque. Also the power transmitted by the shaft is given as power P equal to torque into angular velocity. So P is equal to T into omega. So your omega is written as 2 pi n by 60. So your power terms becomes 2 pi n t by 60 and the unit of power we know is watt. So in this your n is speed of rotation of shaft in rpm rotation per minute. So this power transmitted by shaft is used in machine or machine tool to carry out the work. Now the effect of torque acting on the shaft is that the shaft gets twisted. That is the initially straight shaft with straight longitudinal fibers becomes curved as shown in figure such that the longitudinal fibers on driving end is ahead by an angle theta from its counterpart on driven end as shown in figure. So if you consider this darkened longitudinal fiber which was straight initially upon application of torque the fiber got twisted such that the fiber on the driven end is ahead by an angle theta from its counterpart on the driven end or in other words we can say the driven end lags by an angle theta in the direction of motion as power is being transmitted by the shaft and this happens because shaft is a deformable body had shaft been a rigid body even after application of torque the straight longitudinal fiber would have been straight as shown by this dashed line. So this effect is called as twisting and the shaft is said to be twisted by an angle theta hence the torque is also called as twisting moment. An important point to be noted is that the angle of twist theta is measured for whole length of shaft. The effect of twisting on shaft 
is that shear stresses are set up perpendicular to radius on all transverse cross section so for a shaft of radius r subjected to torque t the effect is such that on any of the transverse cross section as that shown by section x there will be shear stresses tau reduced which will be perpendicular to the radial lines of the shaft on both the surfaces the magnitude and nature of this shear stresses that is tau and the angle of twist that is theta due to the twisting moment is given by a theory called torsional theory so let us now discuss what is torsional theory 